Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, we are in, as in we, me and my mother, she's in the bathroom, in North Carolina. And if you read the title, you know why we're here, but um, I'll show you that tomorrow. But we got here yesterday. I didn't really film much yesterday um, because I didn't want to. But today we are, we don't really know what we're doing. So I will keep you updated and hopefully it'll be a better vlog than last weekends. Okay, gotta go quick, but here's my outfit of the day. Um, Just this little top from Brandy Melville, my same jeans from Cotton On, my Velcro Vans, and my hair's in a ponytail. My mask is also from my Keech Kitch, whatever it's called. But yeah, see you later. Okay, so we just got back from getting coffee from this place called Smelly Cat Cafe. We went there solely because it was called Smelly Cat and we like friends. So we got, we both got the ice vanilla lattes with oat milk and it's pretty good. So yeah, we are going to find a bar that will play because the Panthers are playing the Cardinals happens to be this weekend but yeah so we're gonna go try to find a bar that will is playing the game and so we can watch that okay so we just got back to our hotel um we went to this bar called Ink and Ivy for the football game. Unfortunately, the Cardinals lost. But you know, we're used to it at this point. But still love them, you know, gotta support. And then we went to this candle making place called Patty Wax. Um, I'm gonna get a little clip of that because we got to go fast, but we made candles. They're gonna ship them to our house. And we're back at the hotel. It is only, I think like, 536 or something here but we're at the hotel we're just gonna stay here for the rest of the night maybe order some pizza because we are tired but yes I will keep you updated and tomorrow is a big day probably the reason you guys clicked on this video but yes I'm just super excited so I will keep you updated good morning everyone today is puppy day we didn't really do anything last night. We watched two movies and then went to bed, but didn't sleep well, either of us, because we were both excited. But we just got some Starbucks and we're headed to China Grove, North Carolina, to pick him up. We'll show you him when we get him. I'm excited. That's my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Let me see. everyone this is Leo he's so cute he is a labradoodle slash Aussie doodle mix and we named him Leo because um he's a Leo I'm a Leo and Zach is also a Leo so we decided to name him Leo <laughs> but here we are okay I'm sorry I didn't keep you updated right when we got him we got him at like 10 30 it is now like 4 30 we went on a little drive to the lake with him um just to get him kind of used to being in my lap so that way on the plane tomorrow it's not a huge adjustment but yes so here he is i will keep you updated for the rest of the night and then obviously tomorrow on the plane and when we get home hi hi leo Hi, I know, I know my sweet boy. Hello everyone, we are just chilling 
he's in the biting phase apparently. Um, but yeah, we're just chilling in the hotel room. Um, he is being good. He's gone to the bathroom outside mostly. Um, we are just playing around so he can sleep through the night. And we, our flight is at seven tomorrow. So we have to um, <laughs> be up by like five. Look at, ow, oh my God. <laughs> He's like, it's like razors. <laughs> I can't. Okay, we're going to bed. Good night. Okay, so we all know this by now, but I'm a horrible vlogger and I never updated you guys when we were at the airport because it was just so stressful this morning. Um, that's Jax. Um, with getting the puppy out by like four... 45 and then getting to the airport and making sure he was fine in the airport and but he actually was so good he cried a little bit obviously it was his first time flying but he slept throughout both of the flights that we had he slept basically the entire time so that was really good and he has been doing so oh also just so we all i uh, was able to take i flew southwest um, but I was able to take him out of his carrier and have him on my lap. Um, I got him an emotional, as emotional support dog so I could have him on my lap and he wouldn't have to stay in the carrier because I feel like that would have made him a little bit more stressed because it was his first time flying. He's only eight weeks. So I figured that was the best thing for me to do. Um, so yeah, so we are back and he met my other three dogs. They are having a uh, little the time of their life. I've never seen my dogs play so much. But they're doing so good with him. He loves them. And he's been going to the bathroom outside. He's only had one accident, which is really good. Thank God. Because um, obviously, as you guys know, I just moved into a new house with my parents. And we renovated almost everything. So my mom was really concerned about having a new puppy with new everything. So, But so far, he's been doing really good. We've been home for about... 12 hours um we've, he's had some visitors by now but i will keep you updated i'll probably do this end this vlog tomorrow just so i can give you guys some more updates on how he's doing um but let me show you him it's kind of dark in the house right now um without this lighting right here but yes i will show you and then keep you updated tomorrow Ooh. hi puppy Are you doing so good? You want to go in your crate? <sighs> well, hopefully he sleeps pretty good throughout the night. I'm trying this like potty training thing where I just set an alarm every probably like three to four hours just so I don't have any accidents in his crate because I am crate training him. And yeah, so hopefully he does good throughout the night and is okay in his new little house here. But yes, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey everyone. So Leo is doing great. Um, he's not necessarily sleeping through the night. He wakes up probably every three hours to go to the bathroom, but that is fine. He sleeps in my room with me um, in a crate. So he is learning that pretty good um but yeah he's doing really good i didn't it's hard to get clips of him because he is all black and his eyes are also black so you can't really see his face very much right now but and he's just every time i try to get a clip of him he's running around playing with Jax or layla or with toys or something so it's kind of hard it's been a lot of work so far but we're doing good so let me show you i wanted to do i got this little pup box thing it's kind of like a bark box but specifically for puppies and training and everything so oops so i will do a little unboxing of that really quick and then i'm going to end the video there but yes i will get that really quick i'll be right back okay also i'm in my sister's room because my room isn't set up yet and 
the lighting isn't good, so I'm in here. But let me just show you this little really quick. Um, I already opened it, so it comes in this little box. Um, and then it comes with just a couple of like the things it comes with, just some random stuff. Then it comes with this little laminated sheet of how like house training, crate training, just like some kind of steps to help you with the training. And then it's just like a sheet basically on how to train your new puppy and how the, what the stuff in the box that they gave you helps to train them. But yeah. Okay, so we'll just start off this little toy. It's Halloween themed, so cute. Um, but this little toy has a little eyeball and like the little chew stuff on the side. Um, so this is super cute. And then it came with this little chew toy, black. It's like a rubbery kind of thing, like a black cat. Then it has these chew stuff on the side. Um, and then it also came with this little velvet pumpkin. And I think both of these have squeakers. Okay, that's gonna be annoying, but whatever. And this one, yeah, has a little baby one. But yeah, so that came with those three toys. And then when I did that little questionnaire, it asked me like how dog your big is going to be, not like how big he is now. So um, it came with this Halloween bandana, but it's so big for him right now. So we may have to wait for the next year to use that one. But yeah, so that is a bandana. So we'll see that. Then it came with little training treats from Blue, which I think actually, yeah, it is a good brand for the puppy treats. I haven't been using, I've been using a different brand, but we have blue ones at Zach's house, I believe. So he's have a mixture of both, but it came with those. And then it came with a stain and odor remover. So when he does have his accidents, um, I can clean them up, but he's honestly only had two in the house, which I'm really proud of just because we just moved to this new house and my mom was so scared, but yeah. So I know this vlog was kind of all over the place. Um, started in North Carolina, just as me and my mom, and then surprise got a puppy, but that was the big news that I was so excited for. I waited three weeks after I put my deposit down, but he is doing so good and I'm so happy with him. Um, so yeah. That is kind of all. Obviously, you're going to be seeing a little bit more of him in upcoming videos, vlogs, whatever it is. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions about Leo or me or anything, just let me know down in the comments below or DM me on Instagram or something. But yeah, so if you want to see more of him or me, please subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Thank you.